Good morning, Suter artists. Um, I hope you're all staying home, staying safe and healthy. Um, today, we are going to attempt to create our own wind chime. So a wind chime is something that um, makes sounds in the wind. So you can make it out of anything. You can make it out of found objects. I've seen them made out of forks and knives and spoons before. Any kind of glass is good, but glass is very sharp, so make sure that it's safe. Um, I found a lot of cool objects when I was taking a little walk around my house, listening to all of the things that I found. Not all of them I'll be able to use for my wind chime, but I want to share some of them that I found on my walk. Let's listen to this one. Tuning forks. Wow. A bell. Beautiful. And I found a cowbell. All such different sounds. Well, those are things that I found around my house that I cannot use for a wind chime, unfortunately. But they make beautiful sounds and it was really fun to take a walk around my house to listen to what I have around. So I suggest you do the same. I do have something that we will be using, which is an old toy that I found in my garage. So this is like a little elephant xylophone, or um, there's a name for it, but I forgot what. So we're going to take this apart and we're going to use these little tines for our wind chime. Let's get started. Okay, so to hold up all of these little tines, these little um, glockenspiel things, I'm gonna use um, chopsticks. You can use whatever you'd like, a stick, you can use pencils, you can use a coat hanger. I'm just gonna use chopsticks because that's what I have. So I'm gonna put them together like an X and I'm gonna kind of wrap them All right, so this will be what holds up my um, my uh, pieces. Okay, so next I wanna measure out how long my strings will be. You want them to be pretty similar length so that the, um, the end pieces will hit each other. I'm gonna measure mine about a foot long, like maybe 12 inches, because that gives me space to tie for each end. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight main pieces. So I'm gonna measure eight pieces of string. Okay, now I have also, I found these little washers inside of the uh, glockenspiel. So I'm gonna put these about like halfway up and they'll actually hit some of the other pieces. So I'm just gonna tie those pretty much in the middle, a little bit lower than the middle of the string. And then at the bottom, I'm gonna tie a piece of the glockenspiel.
Okay, now that we have all of the pieces, it's up to us to tie them onto our frame. So I'm just gonna kind of tie them throughout. And again, I'm gonna double knot them. Okay, so now we have the basic structure of our wind chime. And it's sounding pretty good. So we'll need something now to hold up our wind chime. 